Have you ever wondered what would happen if we kept digging? What lies beneath our feet far deeper than any drill has ever reached? And if we never stopped, if we dug forever, where would we end up? In today's documentary, we'll take you on a journey through the layers of Earth, deep into the planet's heart and beyond. A journey through science, imagination, and the very limits of human understanding. Let's dig in. Our journey begins with a single shovel. The top few meters are familiar, soil, roots, rocks, moisture. At around 10 meters, we pass through everyday human infrastructure, pipes, basements, bunkers. By 100 meters, we're nearing the depth of the deepest subway tunnels and ancient ruins. But for us, this is only the beginning. We dig deeper. Humanity's deepest mines reach just over four kilometers into the earth. But the Kola super deep borehole, drilled by the Soviet Union, remains the deepest man-made hole ever created. 12,262 meters deep. Down there, the temperature exceeds 180 degrees Celsius. Rock behaves more like plastic, and drilling equipment begins to fail. The crushing pressure and searing heat make continued digging almost impossible. But in our thought experiment, we don't stop. We imagine technology powerful enough to go much farther. At about 40 kilometers down, we reach the Mohorovicic discontinuity, the boundary between the Earth's crust and the mantle. The crust ends and the mantle begins. Here, temperatures rise rapidly between a thousand degrees Celsius and 3,000 degrees Celsius. The mantle isn't quite liquid, but it flows very slowly, like thick tar. Tectonic plates float atop this sea of rock. This is a place no drill has ever reached, but we press on. At nearly 2,900 kilometers deep, we reach the core mantle boundary. Here lie massive reservoirs of molten rock, hotter and more dynamic than anything on the surface. This is where Earth's powerful internal heat comes from. Magma here churns slowly, driving the movements of continents and triggering volcanic eruptions. Even here, our hypothetical tunnel continues to push downward into the unknown. Between 2,900 and 5,100 kilometers deep lies the outer core, a vast ocean of molten iron and nickel. It is here that Earth's magnetic field is generated. Flowing metal conducts electric currents, which in turn produce a magnetic shield that protects life on the surface from solar radiation. The pressure is unimaginable. The heat almost unbearable. This is a place beyond anything our machines can currently withstand. But we keep digging. At around 6,371 kilometers, we reach the exact center of our planet, the inner core, a massive ball of solid metal, as hot as the surface of the sun, nearly 6,000 degrees Celsius, yet it's solid. The pressure is so intense that iron atoms are locked into place, forming what scientists believe is a slowly growing crystal at Earth's center. This is the most remote place on Earth. No one has ever seen it. But in our imaginary scenario, we've made it. 
And now the big question, what if we keep digging? As we move past the core, we begin ascending, this time toward the other side of the planet. The heat and pressure begin to decrease. We travel through the mantle again, then the crust. Eventually, we break through to the surface, but not where we started. If you dug a perfectly straight tunnel from Turkey, you might pop out somewhere deep in the Pacific Ocean or somewhere else, depending on your exact path. But this scenario assumes a perfect vacuum, indestructible materials, and impossible energy sources. So what happens if you dropped something down this hole? If you dropped an object into this hypothetical tunnel and if there were no air resistance, it would fall toward the center of the Earth, speeding up due to gravity. At the core, it would be moving at maximum speed. Then as it passed the center, it would begin to slow down, pulled back by gravity on the other side. If no energy was lost, it would pop out the other end, momentarily stop, then fall back again. This is known as simple harmonic motion. The object would oscillate back and forth through the tunnel forever, unless friction or air resistance slowed it down. Eventually, we reach a philosophical boundary. The Earth has an edge. Beyond the surface, there's no more down. If we keep digging, we eventually emerge on the other side. There is no infinite depth. And if we dug beyond Earth, say into space, it would no longer be digging. It would be traveling, floating, or launching. The very idea of digging forever stops making sense once we leave the planet. We no longer displace material, we move through vacuum. Digging to the center of the Earth and beyond is an impossible task with today's technology. The heat, pressure, and energy required are simply too much. But as a thought experiment, it reveals incredible truths. The Earth is layered like an onion, each part holding secrets. Our planet protects us with its magnetic field and plate movements. And our curiosity to dig deeper, to go farther, never stops. We may never reach the Earth's core. We may never dig a tunnel from one side of the world to the other, but the journey, real or imagined, reminds us of something powerful. Sometimes, what we're digging for isn't just rock or metal, it's knowledge. Thank you for joining us on this journey through time, imagination, and possibility. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content like this. The future is closer than we think. Stay curious and never stop exploring.